know how you mentioned like when we feel guilty from eating, when we feel stressed from eating, all these emotions from the eating, the negative ones, how that affects how we actually digest food. Yes. Like how, how does it affect, you know, how, you know, are we absorbing the nutrition in the same way? And how is that working? You know, it's an interesting concept. And this is something that I have come to believe more and more. Food is energy. It is energy. Our body digests food and it turns it into energy that basically fuels our bodies to function at their best abilities. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that sense, um, it can absolutely affect it because also uh, our emotions our state, if you're stressed, it also affects our digestive system. We might not be really aware of this, but we know this, that when we're stressed, either we cannot eat, or again, there comes that coping mechanism of eating too much. It depends on the person, but yeah. stress definitely affects our digestion. So if we're eating food and we're not feeling, we are eating it with this kind of um, thought that this is not nourishing to us, that this is damaging us, that mm -hmm. I shouldn't be eating this right now then it is very well possible that that food actually is not going to act in any beneficial way in our body, that our body in, any, in some way is going to reject it, if you will, and uh, it's not going to absorb its nutrients. And I think this is so important that we, that we become aware of this. Um, and at the same time, if we're eating any food, and I, I have, you can see this with people, if you're eating food that maybe is not tell like the best the healthiest food but you're eating it with enjoyment you're kind of celebrating life you are being grateful for what you have in front of you and on your plate and you are really consuming that food with a, being mindful you're just fully present there i think your body is able to extract much more nutrients and being able to then turn them into energy and then in this way also we're not going to experience so many also negative side effects, let's say, because a lot of times it's this, you eat food, you think this is not really the best for me. When I eat this, I become this, oh, I shouldn't. And then obviously it comes that, that um, follow up basically um, a symptom of, oh, now you see I'm so bloated and so forth. And I think this is very, very important for us to become more aware of.